Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day you have given us. Today we are going to read your heavenly scripture. Talk to us through your scripture. Be with us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Let us read Joshua chapter 23. And it came to pass a long time after that the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies around about that Joshua grew old and stricken in age. And Joshua called for all Israel and for their elders and for their heads and for their judges and for their officers and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age. And ye have seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he who hath fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain to be inheritance for your tribes from the Jordan with all the nation that I have cut off even unto the great sea in the west. And the Lord your God, he shall spell them before you and drive them from out your sight and ye shall possess their land as the, as the Lord your God hath promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourself unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God, as ye have done unto this day. For the Lord hath driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you until this day. One man of you shall cast a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fight for you as he hath promised you. Take good heed therefore unto yourself that ye love the Lord your God. Else if ye do in any way, go back and cling to the remnant of this nation, even these who remain among you shall make marriages with them and go into them and they to you. Know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of this nation from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you and soldiers in your sights and thrones in your eyes until ye perish from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye know in all your heart and in all your souls that not one thing had failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you, all are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all good things are come upon you which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things until he have destroyed you from of this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. When ye have transgreted the covenant of the Lord your God which he commanded you and have gone and served other gods and bowed yourself to them, then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which he hath given unto you. Amen. Let us read. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual food, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be idolaters as were some of them as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication and some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us put Christ to the test, as some of them also tested him, and were destroyed by serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them, for example, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the ages are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he stand take heed, lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken 
you but such as and comment to man but god is faithful who will not pe- permit him who will not permit you to be tempted above that ye are able but will but with the temptation also make the way to escape that ye may be able to bear it wherefore my dearly beloved flee from adultery i speak as to wise men judge ye what i say the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of blood of christ the bread which we break is it not the communion of the body of christ for ye being many are one bread and one body for we are all partakers of that one bread behold israel after the flesh are not they who eat of the sacrifice partakers of the altar what say i then that the idol is anything or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything but i say that the things which the gentile sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to god and i would not that ye should have fellowship with demons ye cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of the demons ye cannot be partakers of the lord's table and of the tables of demons do we provoke the lord to jealousy are we stronger than he all things are lawful for me but all things are not expedient all things are lawful for me but all things edify not let no man seek his own but every man another's wealth whatever is sold in the market that eat asking no questions to conscience sake for the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof if any of them that believe not bid you to a feast and ye be disposed to go whatever is said before you eat asking no questions for conscience sake but if any man say unto you this is offered in sacrifice unto idols eat not for his sake that showed it and for the conscience sake for the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof consign i say for thine own but the others for why is my liberty just by another's man's conscience for if i by grace be a partaker why am i evil spoken of for that for which i give thanks whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatever ye do do all to the glory of god give no offense neither to the jews nor to the greeks nor to the church of god even as i please all men in all things not seeking my own profit but the profit of many that they may be saved amen let us read deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 27 to 52 were it not that i fear the wrath of the enemy lest their adversary should behave themselves strangely and lest they should say our god is high and the lord hath not done all these for they are the nation wide of counsel neither is there any understanding in them o oh, that they were wise that they understood this that they would consider their later end How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to fight except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up For the rock is not as your rock even our enemies themselves being judges For their wine is of the wine of Sodom and of the field of Gomara their grapes are grapes of gall their clusters are bitter Their wine is the poison of serpents and the cruel venom of apes is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures to me belongeth vengeance and recompense their foot shall slide in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand and the thing that shall come upon them make haste and the lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servant that he said that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left and he shall say where are their gods their rock in whom they trusted which did eat the fat of the sacrifice and drank the wine of their drink offerings let them rise up and help you and be your protection see now that i even i am he and there is no god with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand for i lift up my hand to heaven and say i live forever if i wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment i will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them who hate me i will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the long-haired head of the enemy 
Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moses came and spoke all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Oshia, the son of Nun. And Moses finished speaking all these words to all Israel. And he said unto them, Set your heart unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life, and through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land to which ye go over the Jordan to possess it. And the Lord spoke unto Moses that every same day, saying, Get thee up into the mountain of Abram unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho, and behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. And die in the mount where thou goest up, and he gathered unto the people as Aaron thy brother died in Mount Hur, and was gathered unto his people, because it trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel. Ye thou shall see the land before thee, but thou shall not go there unto the land which I give the children of Israel. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to read your heavenly words and thank you for talking us through your words. Be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you.